In this video, we will review the virtual terminal payment process in the CyberSource Business Center. Once you've gone through this video, you should be able to process transactions through the CyberSource Virtual Terminal. To begin, from the left navigation menu, select Virtual Terminal, then click on One Time Payment. From the Customer Presence section, select the Card Presence option. In this example, we will select Not Present. From the Order Details section, select Transaction Type. You will choose if your transaction type is Authorization, Sale, or Capture with Verbal Authorization. Choosing the Authorization option requires you to manually settle the transaction later. The Sale option both authorizes and settles a transaction. The Capture with Verbal Authorization option requires you to have an authorization code that you manually obtained. In this example, we will select Sale. Select the currency for your order. Enter the transaction amount. Enter your order or merchant reference number. This number is typically used to help you determine the status of a transaction between your system and CyberSource. Once everything has been selected, click Next. In Step 2, you must enter the billing information. Enter all the appropriate information into the corresponding fields. The state information must be two characters when shipping within the United States. When shipping to Canada, the state information must be the two characters representing the province. Once all information has been entered, click Next. In Step 3, you will review your order. Within the Order Details section, verify that transaction type, amount, and order or merchant reference number is correct. Next, within the Payment Information section, you need to provide the payment information. The payment type for this order is a credit card. The transaction source selections are MOTO, Mail Order, Phone Order, and Internet Commerce. The MOTO, Mail Phone Order option is as if a customer called in and provided their payment information to process the order. The Internet Commerce option is as if the payment information is received through the Internet. In this example, we will select MOTO, Mail Order, Phone Order. You must enter the credit card number and expiration date. The system automatically determines the card type. Once everything has been selected, click Submit, then click Confirm to proceed. Now you will see a message appear in the green bar at the top of the screen stating Transaction successfully submitted for processing. At this time, you can select Print Receipt to print a receipt. You can select Email Receipt to email a receipt. To process a new transaction, select the New Transaction button. To review the transaction you just processed, click on the Transaction ID link to view more details.